All right, I have no idea if this is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, recording properly or if it's working, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what goes on in my head uh, for seeing connections and when I see them or when they all come together, I'm like, yep, I just, oh man, just love life. All right, so earlier this week, and it's been, uh, I'm not saying that you've been back and forth, I mean like right beside each other, but these uh, themes or words have been recurring over and over this week. And I was like, okay, I knew eventually something was going to happen. Uh, uh, whiskers and frogs. Um, I'll just give you a, a few quickie examples. There was somebody who mentioned, uh, I brought a comment when I was uh, talking about the um, uh, GV or Jev game and then Fandom 2. And then they brought that up and also that... Uh, uh, they remembered going to Phantom 2 when it was um, above a French restaurant, and I got the name wrong. I always used to think it was called La Grenouille, and, which is the frog, and um, I got it wrong. That person corrected me. Uh, later on in the week, um, I was listening to a piece of music called um, The Frog's Dance. Um, a, a few other things like that. Uh, I'm just, I'm not going to get into the whiskers thing, but it's been, uh, that's a repeat, a repeated thing. Anyways. And uh, one of my crafting emails uh, sent me a thing saying that um, uh, not this site in particular, uh, uh, th this whatever, but um, that there, there was a sale on uh, like stamps and dies and whatnot. Anyways, this company, I went and uh, on that other side site, um, noticed Frog's Whiskers. And I went, oh, my God, I love the name. And I was like, holy cow, this makes sense. Anyways, then I went and started taking a look a bit more at their stamps and really got into them. I was like, okay, this makes a like it just like they like they do a lot of trees, and I was like, okay, this is exactly what I want to start uh, use when I want to get into making um, uh, proper game uh, maps because I want to get away from digital land as much as possible in the long run. I just want to get into quiet. I want. Um, to do like an old fashioned press, like, like, you know, wrench it down and press, uh, press the, the blocks into the paper and, and the ink and have to ink the, the blocks and the whole nine yards, man. I want to get into that way more than, uh, worrying about digital stuff anyways. Um, and I was thinking just, and then I was reading some of their descriptions here on the stamps and they started going into saying that they were all, uh, custom, uh, handmade and i went wait a flipping minute i'm gonna go and contact them and see if they can shrink down some of their stamps and then i go to their site and the first thing that i see is huh it's a canada uh, flag here for canadian dollar and i went okay did it just auto know that i was in canada or are they please you know please 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 be from canada so that's going to cost me a lot less money and lo and behold they're in freaking Ontario. I was like, well, I don't know where the heck Campbellford is, but look at this. Oh, yeah, I'll show you. Um, let me show you this one. Oh, I, I'm already there. Hold on. Go back to the maps. They are so close to um, my freaking. Um, I mean, they're not super close. I can't walk to it or anything like that. It would be like a full day trip, I think. But what I'm saying is I could probably uh, have a lot of correspondence with these people, and I think I can get some stamps done, um, like mountains. I mean, it's a long way away. I mean, good, goodness gracious me, man. But when I saw Belleville, I went, wait a minute, is it? And actually, it was Peterborough. I went, okay, we're starting to get into my not neck of the woods, but um, <clears throat> there's Kingston. And that's not too far away from Ottawa. I'm not a, I'm not, like, I don't drive, so I don't, you know what I mean? I'm not a, I can't, like, okay. I think tr for Ottawa to Toronto driving-wise, about four and a half hours or something like that. So what I'm saying is that's doable within a day if I can, you know, somebody want, and I know Zoe would love to go see um, the stamp place. So I'm like, this could be a good, a good possibility. Uh, let's go back to their um, thing so you can see, oops. Sorry, guys. Right. There we go. Better than they have classes. Oh, my God. I'm like, seriously, this is awesome. Uh, so, yeah, I want to give it a sh uh, go and take a look and see what they're up to. But anyways, that's what I'm saying. I just uh, I just sometimes I'm like just 
listen to the at least for me i try to remind myself uh pay attention to these um recurring words or themes or whatever uh pop up in my, in my head uh for, throughout the week that are trying to tell me things and uh good things are going to probably happen and ba boink there we go anyways that's it hope you're having a great time see ya